जय हिंद टू ऑल माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर नीलेष कुमार गुप्ता आई एम वर्किंग एज ए प्रोफेसर इन ईसी डिपार्टमेंट एट अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज एंड टूडे आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द एफ आई आर फिल्टर डिजाइन दिस इज फ्रॉम योर यूनिट नंबर थ्री एंड अवर फ्रॉम अवर सब्जेक्ट एक ही ट्यू सिलेबस सब्जेक्ट ऑफ फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर दैट इज डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग and its aqt code is kec503 so today i will tell you about the fir filter design it means how we design the fir filter lastly in unit number 2 you studied about the ir filter designing now i will tell you about the designing in fir filter that how you can design fir digital filter that i will tell you okay so for that at first you understand our simple digital filter diagram okay how digital filter works it means in digital filter discrete signals we have to give as a input and it will be proceed into digital filter form and we will get discrete output signal so in digital filter our discrete signals are proceed through a system or you can say it is digital filter and we will get the output of discrete signal how it is possible so same concept of digital signal processing so here digital signal processing work is done by the digital filter so a digital filter filtering the signal digitally okay so what uh, as usual x of t if you have given here analog input signal then it will be goes to the what analog anti aliasing filter and at first we know sampling will be there after the sampling any signal will be transferred for further for digital okay after the sampling it means first step for converting anything from analog to digital or discrete is sampling so always you have to keep in your mind the sampling is very very important okay so what will happen x of t is there okay now it will be go and sampling frequency in some sampling task will be there and it will be converted finally from analog to digital now a digital filter performs the task of filtering digitally and converts this section into wine like this diagram okay and finally whenever it converts into digital it converts into the analog dac it means digital to analog converter then analog smoothing filter and we will get phi of t so this is the basic block diagram of any digital filter okay what will happen that i will i am telling you now digital filter it is a mathematical algorithm implemented in hardware software that operates on digital input to produce the digital output okay so you use some hardware and software both now you can operate some digitized analog signals that you can store in the computer this is the advantages of uh, everywhere whenever we use the digital quantities okay now digital filter filter play important role in dsp it means digital signal processing compared with analog we are prefer digital why because uh, it performs a number of different application that is not possible in analog filter like data compression speech processing image processing etc and because of why why we are we are able to do these type of applications because of the some following advantages like digital filter can have some characteristic like linear phase response so linear phase response is only possible in digital filter and especially in fir digital filter the performance of digital filter does not vary with environmental changes for example thermal variations and so on the frequency responsibility can be adjusted if it is implemented using programmable processor several input signal can be filtered by one digital without a need of replicate the hardware so here uh, uh, you don't need to change any hardware okay if because our data filters are programmable so if if you change the some program so you can adjust you can adapt the some features of digital filter in this condition so this is the very big advantage of digital filter 
and digital filters can be used at very low frequencies like seismic signal. So, these are the advantages that is why we are preferring the digital filters over the analog filter. Now, some limitations also will be there okay, compared with analog like speed limitation, okay, the finite word length effects, the long design and development time. So, these also these are also available. Okay. So, we have to work on that. So, on those limitations we have to work. Now, the question advantage of FIR over IIR, what are the advantages? So, obviously, this is FIR, FIR means finite duration impulse response filter. It means whose impulse response is of finite duration. So, obviously, if I am having some finite value, so I can determine, I can judge exactly ki what will be the number, final number of this, what will be the final exact output of this. Obviously, okay, it will be sure. Okay. So, definitely FIR uh, filter uh, will be having some advantage over the IIR, like linear phase characteristics that is possible in FIR, not in IIR. FIR filter relies non-recursively, non-recursively means causal system and those are always physically stable and causal. Now, design methods are generally linear because it, uh, it these are consisting of linear phase. They can be realized efficiently in hardware. The filter started transition have finite duration and they have low sensitivity to finite worth length. Finite word length effects is the limitation of FIR design. So, these have low sensitivity. So, this is also advantages of FIR filter over IIR. Now, linear phase, what is the meaning of linear phase FIR filter or linear phase FIR transfer function? So, we know if H of n is our impulse response of FIR filter, so its transfer function is H of z. Okay. So, for linear filter, what is the condition? It means for linear phase filter, if our delay that we we have, uh, we can calculate from this, if it is independent of frequency and constant value, so it will be linear phase. Okay. So and uh, there are two type of delay function or two type of delay that we can calculate from the transfer function. One is our phase delay. Second is our group delay. Phase delay means minus theta omega by omega. And if we, if we differentiate, first differentiate to this, so we will get the group delay. So, if our delay, it will be constant and independent of frequency, then we can say our FIR filter is having linear phase. Now, this is the condition that you should know, you should, you have to keep in your mind. This is the condition for linear phase in FIR filter. What is that? It is summation n0 to n minus 1 small h of n into sin of tau minus n into omega is equal to 0. So, here h of n is your what? Simple uh, your uh, impulse response of FIR filter, your FIR filter length goes from 0 to n, it means your FIR filter is of length of capital N. Tau is what? Tau is your constant, delay constant. Minus n, it means n is your discrete time domain, omega is your so, this is the required condition for linear phase. Sometimes question will be asked on basis of this condition. Okay. So, this will be the mathematical expression for linear phase condition in FIR filter, where tau is what? Our delay constant and you can calculate this tau is equal to n minus 1 upon 2 or m minus 1 upon 2, n or m. This is what? This is length of the FIR filter. So, you can assume n or n, capital N or capital M, length of FIR filter. Thick. Okay. Next. So, uh, some example also this type of question uh, can be asked. Okay. So, if the length of filter is 7, FIR filter is 7, if this filter has a linear phase, show that it will be satisfied. So, if it is linear phase, then this condition is satisfied. Okay. So, what I told you in last PPT, this is the condition, required condition of mathematical expression for satisfying the linear phase criteria 
in a FIR digital flow. Similarly, here you can prove that, okay. So, you know here length of filter, what is given? Uh, here your delay constant is alpha, okay, alpha, tau. So, these are the your what delay constant and how you calculate the value of this? What? N minus 1 upon 2, N is what? Your length of the filter. So, length of the filter is 7, it is given in the question. So, alpha is equal to what? 7 minus 1 upon 2, it is 3. Now, for FIR uh, digital filter, it will be symmetric or non-symmetric. So, always, okay. So, the condition for symmetric is what? Ki H of n is equal to H n minus 1 minus n. So, in FIR data filter, symmetric or anti-symmetric condition will be there, definitely will be there. So, this condition for symmetric, if it is h of n is equal to minus of h of n minus 1 minus n, so it will be anti symmetric. Okay. So, in this condition, some filter coefficients are equal in each other. Okay. So, this is also advantages of FIR data filter. It means uh, we need less number of filter coefficient in designing of FIR digital filter. So, if we put here say n is equal to 0, so 7 minus 1 minus h, it means h 0 is equal to h 6. Similarly, h 1 is equal to h 5, h 2 is equal to h 4. So, in this way, some filter coefficients are equal in each other. Okay. Now, condition for symmetry, this will be, now h 0 is equal to, so now you can put in the our condition that you have to satisfy, that you have to prove for this question. Okay. What? h of n into sin of alpha, what is alpha? Alpha will be alpha was 3, 3 minus n into omega. Now, you put the, open the formula of this summation. So, if you open this formula, so h 0 sin 3 omega, h 1 sin 2 omega, h 2 sin omega, h 3 sin 0, h 4 and so on, you will get. Now, you know h 0 is equal to here, here h 0 is equal to h 6, h 1 is equal to h 5 h 2 is equal to h 4. Okay. And you know sin of minus theta is equal to minus sin theta. So, if you put, if you apply these all in this equation, so you will get it will be equal to 0. And our condition that is asked in the question will be satisfied. So, in this way, sometimes some questions, uh, small questions can be asked in examination, ki you have to prove this condition for FIR digital filter for particular condition. Okay. Now, we are coming on design technique for FIR digital filter. So, these are the design techniques for FIR digital filter. Okay. Like Fourier series method, window method, frequency sampling method and optimum filter design method. So, one by one, I will tell you about the designing method. Generally, we concentrate on window technique, window method of FIR filter design. So, if you want to design FIR data filter, generally you have to concentrate on window technique, on window method. FIR filter designing using the window techniques. Okay. So, at first we came, we came on what? Fourier series method. So, Fourier series method means what? The frequency response of a digital filter is periodic. You know in Fourier series, Fourier series is generally used for periodic signal. Okay. So, it is periodic with period equal to the sampling frequency. From Fourier series analysis, we know, we know that any periodic function can be expressed as a linear combination of complex exponentials. And you can represent in terms of some complex exponential for any function using the Fourier series. Okay. So, H d E j omega is equal to n minus summation n minus plus infinity H d n into e to the power minus ka j omega n. So, this is the frequency response of Fourier series representation exponentially you can say. And you can also calculate from this its inverse coefficient, inverse value. Okay. That is H d n is equal to 1 upon 2 pi as usual integration 0 to 2 pi h d e j omega into e to the power j omega n into d omega. So, in Fourier series, generally you have to represent your function, your signal specification in terms of some complex exponential by these 
formulas. Now, Fourier coefficient of HDN are identical to impulse response of digital field. HDN is what? These HDN are the Fourier series coefficient. These Fourier series coefficient that you can calculate from the from its frequency response HD EJ omega. So, what I am saying here these four coefficients HDN are generally almost equal to the impulse response of a digital filter. But in this Fourier series designing of for FIR filter, these two difficulties or limitations we will get. First, the impulse response is of infinite duration. Second, the filter is non-causal and unreliable. So, these two difficulty or limitation we will get. First is what? That our impulse response is of infinite duration obviously, but we are what we want to design FIR digital filter of finite duration impulse response, but using the 4 s is what? Our impulse response is of what? Infinite duration. So, it is not for FIR digital filter, so it is not feasible obviously and the filter is non-causal and unreliable. You know the causal systems are physically realizable and physically implementable. Okay. Non-causal are not physically realizable, these are not uh, practically possible. Okay. So, if you design FIR digital filter using Fourier reach method, so these two main uh, challenges we face. That is why we want to switch from this method and to go for another method that can overcome these limitations that we are getting in Fourier series method okay, for FIR filter designing. Now, no finite amount of delay can make the impulse response realizable and the filter resulting from Fourier series implementation is an unrealizable because whenever we design the FIR digital filter by this method, so we are not getting the uh, realizable impulse response. So, what we can design the filter, but that will be unrealizable. Now, after that, uh, I want to make this unrealizable into realizable. What? I have to apply some method. So, what? Infinite duration impulse response can be converted to finite duration because we are discussing, we are studying here FIR digital. FR means whose impulse response is of what? Is of finite duration. Then we can say it is for FIR digital filter. So, what this infinite duration was converted into the finite duration impulse response by truncating the infinite series at n is equal to plus minus. How it is possible? By truncating the Truncate the value of our impulse response that we are getting in this method okay, at n is equal to plus minus n. If we are truncating, truncating means what? You are not taking the actual value. Obviously, you will get some error, some undesired oscillation will be there. So, if you do the truncating here to convert your unrealizable filter into realizable for FIR digital filter then we get what undesirable oscillation in pass band and stop band of digital filter. So, even you convert here your realizable filter by some truncating process, but you will get undesirable oscillation in your pass band and stop band of your FIR digital filter. So, this is the limitation. So, this limitation uh, was given by the Gibbs phenomena that I am saying here. Okay. <coughs> so, Gibbs phenomenon is what? This one. Ki these undesired oscillation that we are getting in Fourier series method are due to the slow convergence of the Fourier series, particularly near the points of discontinuity. Mag it means maximum ripple occurs just before and just after the transition. And this effect is known as Gibbs phenomena. These undesirable oscillation can be reduced by multiplying the desired impulse response coefficient by appropriate window function. So, Gibbs phenomena addresses the challenges of 
एफ आई आर डीटर फिल्टर डिजाइनिंग यूजिंग फोर इयर सीरीज मैथड एंड दिस कैन बी ओवरकम विल बी रिड्यूस बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग द डिजायर्ड इंपल्स रिस्पॉन्स एच डी एन जो हम निकाल रहे थे बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग द सम अप्रोप्रिएट विंडो फंक्शन विंडो फंक्शन वी कैन कन्वर्ट इन टू द एफ आई आर डिजिटल फिल्टर सो दीज विंडो फंक्शन आर अंडर द विंडो टेक्निक दैट जनरली वी प्रेफर फॉर एफ आई आर फिल्टर डिजाइनिंग नाउ द अनबल कैन बी रेड्यूस बाय यूजिंग अ सेट ऑफ टाइम लिमिटेड वेटिंग फंक्शन दैट इज विंडो फंक्शन रिफर टू विंडो फंक्शन एंड इफ वी यूज दिस टेक्निक तो इट इज कॉल्ड विंडो टेक्निक ओके सो एंड ऑल्सो वी कैन गिव द सम एग्जाम्पल हेयर ओके तो एच ऑफ एन इट्स टाइम डोमेन इट्स स्पेक्टम डब्ल्यू एन दैट वी वॉन्ट टू एसोसिएट विंडो फंक्शन एंड इट्स फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स देन वॉट वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस एंड दिस ओके एंड फाइनली वी विल गेट द रिलाइजेबल इम्पल्स रिस्पॉन्स फॉर एफ आई आर पर्टिकुलर डिजिटल फिल्टर ओके सो दे आर सो मेनी विंडो फंक्शन ओके लाइक रेक्टूलर विंडो फंक्शन हैमिंग विंडो फंक्शन हैनिंग विंडो फंक्शन बार्टलेट ब्लैक मैन एंड सो ऑन लाइक रेक्टूलर दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल विंडो फंक्शन ओके so for non causal and causal rectangular means what simple window function this is it means 0 to m its length is equal to 1 for causal you can give this type of expression now hamming window function so hamming window function expression is different this is <coughs> for causal w h h a double n n is equal to 0.5 minus 0.5 cos of 2 pi n upon Hamming window function, similarly black man, okay, and Bartlett or triangular window function, and so on. <coughs> Sorry. So these are the some window functions, okay, that you can use for designing of FIA filter. Generally, our motive is what? Our motive is that that we have to design FIA digital filter of फाइनाइट ड्यूरेशन इम्पल्स रिस्पॉन्स फाइनाइट ड्यूरेशन फिल्टर कोफिशियंट दैट शुड बी रिलाइजेबल ऑल्सो दैट शुड बी कॉजल ऑल्सो तो दिस इज द सम डिजाइनिंग स्टेप दैट यू हैव टू कीप यूर माइंड चूज द डिजायर्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ फिल्टर एच डी ईजे उमेगा ओके फर्स्ट इफ एच डी ईजे उमेगा फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स इज गिवन टू यू सो यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट एच डी एन फर्स्ट फ्रॉम दिस एच डी ईजे उमेगा next choose a suitable window function wn it may be rectangular hamming hanning triangular and so on and multiply this hdn by wn and convert into the finite duration impulse response filter of h of n if you want the frequency response of this then you can take the its z transform so these are the simple steps that you have to keep in your mind whenever you design your fir dj filter using window technique okay so this again i am writing here okay that i told you in last ppt so hd is omega this is the frequency response okay generally it is given in the question so you have to calculate hdn by this inverse fourier transform formula it is equal to 1 upon 2 pi for the integration uh, for your time period like 0 to 2 pi or minus pi to pi h d j omega e, keep e to the power j omega n into d omega from this formula you can calculate at first h d n now this h d n you have to convert into the finite duration so what you have to multiply this h d n by suitable window function and you can calculate or you you will get your realizable finite duration impulse response that will be for fir digital filter now one question also i i want to discuss here what a low pass filter is to be designed with the following desired frequency response it is given to you hd is omega okay hd is omega is given to you now determine the filter coefficient hdn if window function is this so this window function if you see this is simple rectangular window function its value is 1 from filter length from 0 to 4 it means 
फिल्टर लेंथ इज वॉट हेयर एन इज इक्वल टू वॉट एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव इट इज वन सो डिटरमाइन द फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स एंड विंडो फंक्शन फ्रॉम विंडो फंक्शन वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन फिल्टर को सो इट इज गिवन टू यू दिस एच डी एन इज वॉट वन अपॉन टू पाई माइनस पाई टू पाई एच डी में इंटू दिस आई एम पुटिंग द वैल्यू हेयर एंड इट लाइज फॉर माइनस पाई बाय फोर टू प्लस पाई फोर सो आई एम पुटिंग द लिमिट हेयर वैल्यू एंड पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ फंक्शन हेयर एंड सॉल्व इट सिंपल सॉल्व इट एंड वी विल गेट दिस आंसर ओके सो एच डी एन इज इक्वल टू वॉट आई गेट आई एम गेटिंग हेयर वॉट वन अपॉन पाई एन माइनस टू साइन पाई बाय फोर एन माइनस टू नाउ आई एम राइटिंग हेयर एन इज नॉट इक्वल टू बिकॉज इफ यू पुट हेयर एन इज इक्वल टू टू सो इट does not exist at value of n at equal to 2 so filter value will be finished at n is equal to 2 so what for that type of condition generally we use what al hospital rule limit continuity principle that you studied in 11th and 12th class so if you apply al hospital rule you will get as the two value so if you apply al hospital means you have to differentiate separately numerator and denominator part And you will get the value. So for getting the value f small n is equal to two, you have to use L hospital rule here. So H D two is equal to one by four. Remaining n is equal to zero, one, three, four. You have to calculate zero to four. That will be simple by this expression. You are putting the value. H D zero is equal to this. H D one is equal to. If you solve, then you will get. You will find your H D zero is equal to H D four. H D one is equal to H D three. Because FIR filter also follows the symmetric and anti-symmetric property. In this, some filter coefficients are equal in each other. Now, window for this is HDN. Now you are getting HN is equal to HDN into WN window function. And WN ka was what you are W1. WN is equal to you are one 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 zero to four. Its value is one. So again, WN is one. So HN is equal to HDN. So you will get H zero, H one, H two, H three, and H four. So these are your filter. So in this way, you can calculate the filter coefficient using the window techniques. Only you have to use the formula of HDN. Then you have to multiply that HDN into by your given window suitable function, and you will get your simple filter coefficient for FIR digital filter. Okay. So I think it will be. Okay for all of you. If you want the frequency response, then you can take the Z transform of this, and simply by the calculation you will get this. So in DSP, always remember that your calculations, your calculating ability is very very important. Mathematics, okay. If you understand the concept and procedure, so you can do easily if your calculations are. <coughs> these are types of window functions some another example also i am telling here so another window function also we can use and this type of some comparison also we can give for window technique like rectangular hanging hemming blackman keyser and so on okay so i think it will be clear to everybody what i told you in fir digital filter design in fir filter digital digital filter designing you can design your fir digital filter so this is the simple uh, introduction of fir filter designing main theme is what you can design any fir digital filter using the suitable or appropriate window function called the window techniques it's numerical paper okay okay and you can ask me if you have any query further i will tell you okay. thank you very much